Senator Lori, I do think that number two is slightly different than number four. Um, just saying that the designated caregiver prior to enrollment and then after enrollment for number four, but that would definitely be one of the places that Senate Council and I would work on in order to make the new, unless the patients reside in the same residence language, work throughout the bill. If that was a concept that the committee were to adopt, we would make sure that that language worked throughout the bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Representative Murray. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Dr. Council, um, these residents, uh, the term that would apply to people in the institution, so it's a very assisted living or nursing facility, and they were living where the residents apply. Mr. Chair, I believe okay. so. I know. Um, yeah, a group home of wood, nursing home of wood. Um, what was your other one an institution? Depends on the case. Yeah, so wood. Yeah. We'll make sure, but I think that's it. All right. So, why don't we move? Someone needs to move the language um, on line nine point three and on nine point seven, unless the patient reside in the same residence. Right. And uh, we'll just incorporate into this motion, but we'll also do kind of a comprehensive motion at the end that uh, council is directed to find in all places in the bill uh, to include the same concept. Uh, question of members? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carries. Thank you, Ms. Davidson. Um, 
then um, the, uh, um, did, did we need to deal with the, uh, the other issue first that Senator Boy raised? Um, um, so the, the uh, parents or legal guardians issue, um, just by way of background and context, was to make sure that um, uh, we were providing, you know, particularly, you know, the, the original thought came about because of the kids, um, and, and it was a gap in, in our review of the bill. Um, over the last couple of days. Um, so that's what this language landed in there. But it's already raised a point about um, uh, patients who are who have legal guardians who are above 18. I'll ask counsel, is there anything magic about um, uh, uh, under 18 in those instances when folks have parents or legal guardians who continue to take care of them? Do we just strike that language, or do we need to do something a little bit more to address that circumstance? Well, Mr. Chair, I think that they would then be able to apply to become the registered caregiver, and um, the registered caregiver can only have one patient, but the patient can have more than one registered caregiver. And so I think both parents, once they reach the age of majority, could become the registered caregiver they would be subject to the restrictions that are part of the registered caregiver provisions, but my understanding is that they would still be able to be a registered caregiver. Um, they, they would representatively know that they'd be subject to all the, uh, all the caregiver, kind of the more traditional caregiver requirements, background check, this, et cetera. A point of clarification, Mr. Chair, I do think that there might be some problem with the language if you did want a patient to have more than one designated caregiver. Page 8, line 31 does say that the commissioner shall register a single designated caregiver for a patient. Instances, uh, right? So, yeah, I made a statement before that was completely false because we do have a single designated caregiver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was true at one time, I'm sure. <laughs> something changed. I think something changed along the way. Um, uh, so, how, how does the committee want to proceed? I think, Mr. Chairman, uh, don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think if we just uh, would strike under age 18, that could potentially accomplish uh, where it is that uh, the Senator is trying to address his yeah. uh, Mr. Chair, I do think that that would work. It would be allowing the parent or legal guardian of any patient that ability. So if that is the committee's intent, I think that that would work. Um, and then would that, uh, and that that would then allow them to have more than one caregiver, because you know there there can well be more than one parent. Yes, because they wouldn't be designated. Yes, no. yes, it would. It would also allow um, parents of any patient to pick up the medication and all all of the things throughout the bill. Okay, very good. All right, um, so would someone like to move uh, a motion to strike under age 18 on lines 9.12 and 13? And do we need to do the same under 16 and 17? We would need to do so in multiple places throughout the bill. So uh, Representative Hamilton incorporates that same clean up the bill part of the motion. All right, questions, members? All in favor, say aye. 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 Oh, no. Motion carries. Then, um, again, on caregiver, um, so the issue occurred, uh, the uh, question occurred to me that um, when we do designate caregivers, um, it's confined to this uh, certification uh, by uh, the, the doctor or the practitioner um, that they are developmentally and physically disabled and unable to self-administer medication. Um, the circumstance where someone 
can self-administer medication, but cannot drive to get their medication might arise. Um, so in that instance, then they couldn't have a caregiver. Um, uh, and what they really need the caregiver for is not to come and administer the medication, but to just get it and bring it to them. And so I asked Ms. Kavanaugh to, if the committee agrees that's, you know, that's a, 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 a real issue. Um, Ms. Kavanaugh had a suggestion. Mr. Chair, members on page two, line 30. After medication, insert or acquire medical cannabis from a distribution facility due to the disability. And, um, you know, there's a few other places I plan to kind of ask we're going to walk through um, where we would need to incorporate that language. So, um, members, questions, thoughts? Uh, uh, Senator Peterson. Mr. Chair, if we want to um, recess for 10 minutes, we can come back with a bill that I know through, has been through a number of these committees in this whole process, and I think it'll handle a lot of the, the problems that we're faced with right now. So, uh, well, have a big suggestion. <laughs> so, uh, other questions, members? All right. Um, who would like to make that motion? With the uh, cleanup with the. Uh, I don't think that was a motion. No, no not, not that motion. <laughs> uh, so, Representative Hamilton, do you want to continue the tradition? Sure. All right. Yes. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carries. All right. Anything further, members?